Israel, the land of milk and honey, a country that has proven its ability to transform agriculture into an advanced industry that exports agricultural products valued at 2.5 billion US dollars to countries worldwide. Reviving the Israeli deserts wasn't easy. It was challenging and seemed impossible at times to provide and transfer water. But creative and advanced solutions made the impossible a blooming reality, and the old prophecies were fulfilled. It is on a basis of these investments in infrastructure that irrigation technology has developed in Israel. Each and every drop of water is metered, says Avi, a cotton grower in central Israel. These water meters are linked to our computerized controllers and we have full command of the irrigation water we apply. Cotton in Israel is mainly drip irrigated. Base irrigation amounts are determined according to FAO methodology by multiplying the evapotranspiration rates by a cotton coefficient which depends on the development stage. During the phase of development, height measurement and growth rates are benchmarked against best management standards to assist in adjusting the coefficient and fine-tuning irrigation water delivery. Later in the season, growers use scolander pressure chambers to determine water status and modify irrigation water amounts accordingly while additional methods to determine plant status include stem diameter measurements and thermal remote sensing. Best practice management methodology, including irrigation and plant monitoring standards, are research-based and updated periodically as new technology is introduced and new varieties are released. These are disseminated to growers in a cotton production procedures manual, which is adhered to countrywide. Regional adaptation and additional specific extension is provided by professional extension specialists at field days and seasonal seminars. Research and development efforts are a profound component of Israeli cotton production and at the heart of its success. ELS cotton yield development has been continuous and consistent. As reflected from the data, yield increase reaches 19.4 kilograms of lint per year on average, demonstrating a significant upward trend. Substantial improvement in staple length and strength are also apparent from the data, classifying Israeli cotton as the best of its kind. Israeli ELS cotton has become a best-in-class product, competing head-to-head -head against the finest cottons in the world. We cultivate about 300 hectares every year. Joining BCI has assisted us to work in a more methodological manner. We are committed to a set of requirements determined by the organization which relate to scholarly application of irrigation water and water conservation, amongst other requirements. Traditionally, Kibbutz Gat produces 300 to 400 hectares per year. We apply highly purified recycled water to our cotton crop using various methods to monitor irrigation. We have 24-hour surveillance of water output and plant development using the most advanced methodology. The BCI organization we joined last year provides us with three levels to which we can relate. The first and basic level, as far as I am concerned, is related to our professionalism, as reflected through BCI's production principles and criteria. These criteria assist us in becoming better farmers. Secondly, these requirements turn us into better human beings. And thirdly, BCI principles will drive a better world. I have no doubt about that. We are standing here at a location that represents our connection as farmers to the environment. 
We are working to combine our agricultural practices to the habitat we all live in by considering our use of inputs and respecting our natural surroundings and the community. The Israeli Cotton Board opted to join the BCI because our organization shares the BCI values. Israeli cotton production is considered a worldwide symbol of advanced technology. And with that, the excellent reputation of Israeli extra-long staple at the marketplace. Israel will remain inspirational in delivery of production technology and results, and looks forward to sharing this capability with the BCI community and its member organizations.